Thank you very much for having me this morning. East Timor have uh, very long struggled to be independent. And I guess many of us know that uh, East Timor was under the Portuguese for a very, very long time. And under the, under the color Portuguese colonialism, East Timor was uh, mildly isolated. Most of the indigenous people uh, never been to schools, including my family. I think uh, last 20 years, I think I'm, all, I'm the only one that who actually uh, graduated from university. It's because I was find ways to, to get out from East Timor. And during the Indonesian occupations, East Timor been through so many challenges, so many struggles, and so many people were killed, and so many women uh, were raped, and so many children also taken away uh, to Indonesia. And currently, uh, my colleagues from uh, Daily Film Works uh, they are doing another documentaries about uh, uh, children that who were taken away to Indonesia. And hopefully this film will come out and we can see how the history of children in this team have been through. But of course, East Timor also have many story. East Timor also have strong historical link with Australia. During the Second World War, our grandfather were helping Australian soldiers to fight against the Japanese to invade Australia. And we have a very strong historical bond because, because we have, uh, we, we know that human dignity is is more important than wealth. So therefore, during the Second World War, we, our grandfather gave their lives to protect our friend from Australia. But today we see another, another phase of struggles because in 2002, we finally got our independence, but Today, we haven't have uh, border, borders between our neighboring country, so which is Indonesia and Australia. And in 1989, while we, we were dying in East Timor, Indonesian army were killing us. Australian Foreign Minister, Mr. Gareth Evans, and Mr. Uh, Ali Alatas were drinking champagne, flying over at Timor Sea, and signed the Timor Gap, Timor Gap Treaty. And then, of course, now that we are independent, we want to claim what is belong to East Timor. But of course, uh, because of because of money and interest, Australia still refused uh, to to negotiate and to finalize uh, our maritime boundary. But of course, early this year, again, again, Australian people, Australian ordinary people that who are believe in peace and justice and respect on the ordinary human being, they have a shown another uh, support for East Timor and organized demonstrations here in Sydney and Melbourne. And it's still, it's still going on. And this year, 
uh, just recently, last month, uh, East, East Timor government have lodged a uh, compulsory uh, conciliation. That means that we have to drag Australia into the negotiations under the uh, United Nations law of the sea. But of course, uh, it's, it's another struggle. And I hope that the uh, Australian government uh, will have, uh, will have a good faith uh, to, to negotiate with East Timor. And in 2002, that we, Timorese, signed a treaty of exploration in East, in, in East Timor Sea because Timorese government at that time was very, very fragile. Country was destroyed. Every school's building were destroyed. Every, every hospitals were destroyed. A lot of people were displaced uh, to West Timor. So Timorese government was have no option but to sign some part of the, of the oil so that we can sustain to develop the country. And as Australia was playing very, very smart uh, political game and they withdrew. Also they withdrew from the, from the International Court of Justice. So it was, Timorese government have no option that one day you know, if you want to take uh, Australian International Court, they, they, we cannot do that because Australia have withdrawn the signature of the, of the international empire, so we cannot. So now, that only, only avenue that we have is that uh, to lose the compulsory conciliations. That is only, that's the only uh, option that we have. So I hope that, uh, you know, many of you still uh, support uh, East Timor and to, to convince the government to accept the, the negotiation with East Timor and uh, hopefully that uh, one day, you know, we all live in peace and, you know, we don't have to uh, fight with one another. Thank you very much. Thank you.